Hi everyone and welcome to the channel and today we're going to be looking at a common problem that we find with files that are shared with us or files that we downloaded from the internet and that's placement at its point of origin. Let's have a look by toggling the axis cross of where the axis cross is in this model. As you can see it's over here. So if I click on the body and right click transform you notice that the point of origin of where it's been created, well, it's some distance away. I find this a lot with STL files, step files that I've downloaded from the internet, and also some projects that have been shared with me. If it's a project that's been shared, then it's quite easy to come into the body and find out if it's been created in a certain way to come into the original sketch. And as you can see here, this is 300 millimeters away from this point. So just changing this to say zero millimeters or fixing the point of origin by constraining it with a coincident constraint, we'll get around that problem. So you can see it is now in the center of the body, right click, transform, and we get our point of origin fixed to the center of that object. Let's undo that. And let's say this has been built in such a way that we can't fix that problem. And sometimes you find this with models that have been created in such a way that you, they use the base planes and nothing is referenced to the other geometry. So if one piece of geometry moves, nothing else moves. We can get around this. I'll click on the body, right click, transform. And you can see our handler for the transformation is here. And we use the axis cross which we come up to view toggle axis cross to show it and move this into position. You may have to move the screen about and zoom out, etc. But we get ourselves into the position and we hit OK. Now, if we create, say, a part and move that body inside the part, now when we click on the part and right click transform, We've got the part handler in the middle, so we can actually transform the part rather than trying to transform the body, which we still got here, right click transform, and you can see that's over here. That's one way of fixing that problem without going through all the sketches and modifying those. Let's come back to the part, click on that, right click transform, and you can see that can be transformed nicely. That's okay that. What I'm going to do now is import the same part but as the step file. Going to file import and coming down and finding the step file. Now we'll have the same problem because if I click on the body, right click transform, you can see well it's over here. Now this is really easy to fix and in this case it hasn't got anything else in there it's just a plain shape, then we can actually transform this first by coming up to view toggle axis cross, right click on the shape, transform, and transform this into position like so. That's about right. It's okay that. Bring this back in. And make sure that the shape is selected. Come over to the part workbench. And then we've come up to part, come down to create a copy, and then come over to refine shape and click on that. What happens now, we get another shape that's been refined. Refining means taking faces that are along the same plane. If they're attached together, let's say that this face here is made up of four faces, then this will be merged into one face because it's all on the same plane. But this gives us an addition. Let's click on that shape, right click, transform. And you notice because we transformed this into the right position, we've now got a shape that has the handler and the transformation slash rotation point in the correct position. So that's a quick tip from me. I hope you found that useful and I hope to see you again soon. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com 
forward slash MANG0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you again soon.